Hello, it's 10 o'clock, almost 10 o'clock on June the 14th, 2023, and welcome to this weather update. And um, we had a little interesting day today. Uh, some areas got severe weather. Um, you can see this interesting looking, what we like to call, it's a phrase called Lando King, which almost looks like a hurricane over land. Not quite, but it's, you can see, definitely see the cyclonic motion very well uh, in this uh, satellite loop. And uh, it's quite, uh, you can see the storms are firing up, a lot of instability. Looks like maybe a little bit of smoke off to the south maybe being pulled into this. Uh, however, for once this evening, we had some really interesting, beautiful skies tonight. Looking again at this uh, thing here, just pin pinwheeling around. But you can see it looks like a little wildfire smoke being pulled over New Jersey from this. Um, but yeah, look at this thing just pinwheeling around. It's, it's very interesting. Um, and we definitely had some storms today to talk about. So uh, let's go to the Ventu sky, and we're going to look at the radar and talk about where the storms were because uh, it was quite interesting. So the storms popped up earlier than expected. Uh, there was an area of rain that popped, like, along with the storms. It's like had, this had, like, little, almost like little, look at this, it almost had, like, little, uh, like, arms or feeder bands almost. Really interesting. Um, but see, there were a couple of thunderstorms, and severe thunderstorms, actually, for uh, the Hudson Valley and north of the city, uh, we just got some showers, some heavy showers. The first batch moved through between like 1 and 2, and then uh, kind of lingered around a little bit. Um, didn't really get out of here until almost 3. Um, and then a few more popped up, uh, wound up popping up. And I was on the train. I took the train, wasn't expecting it, but it was running late. Uh, I got the train, uh, the Patchogue train at Mineola, and we ran into a pretty hefty cell. Let's see, 320. So it was right around the West Babylon area. We ran into a pretty hefty cell. Let's see, it was around 3. Yeah, it was a little bit after 330. It was a hefty cell that came in. And uh, I was on the train when it hit. And just you could see it got really dark and stormy. I couldn't really take any pictures or video. Uh, but there was quite a bit, a big downpour with that. So we had kind of a rainy afternoon. And no, no, these, these weren't really thunderstorms. There wasn't any lightning, just some heavy rain. That moved away. Um, and then you can see that moving away here. Um, and you can see there some rain over central Suffolk. We'll look at the rainfall amounts a little bit later. It probably wasn't amount. The rain didn't last for long, so that didn't amount to much. 550, little break. Another storm fired up to the north. Uh, again, because of that instability in the air. And then we get to 630. Uh, it clears out, and then we get another storm that pops over uh looks like uh staten island and then goes over new york city seven o'clock and i decide to take a look at the clouds at mass Pequa, and boy i'll show you the video the clouds i have a couple of pictures the clouds from the storm were very impressive and this storm well, look at this it had a hook echo i wonder if there was ever a warning out for this storm that looks like a hook echo right there was there ever a warning out for this storm let me look at the twitter there was a special marine statement for it um, there was not a warning for the storm. Okay, looking at the radar, there is a... Oh, well, not that radar. Let's go back to the Ventus sky. It almost looks like a hook echo over Glen Cove right there. Um, and this storm really uh, was a strong storm that went over the north shore of Suffolk County. Uh, quite a strong storm. Here we are, 8 o'clock, still going 8.30. Um, and so I'm going to show you some pictures that I took. Uh, today of the class. First of all, we actually had some blue sky today. All right, that's number one. Uh, and then we broke out in a little sunshine in the evening. It's around 6.30. You can see, whoops, not that one. Um, not that one either. Um, but uh, you can see there's an anvil from a weakening storm that was over Jersey. And then we had some more anvils in the distance. But then this storm came in building in from the west. And uh, it had a nice formation to it i mean this is like kind of like shelf cloud kind of deal here you can see the the, the sky and the uh, and the clouds all in here um the dark clouds the shelf cloud beneath it um and then as it moves to the north all we got were a little bit of sprinkle but this thing as it moved to the north really got intense and the sky got dark there was no lightning didn't see one flash of lightning um but looking at these pictures uh, you could see the kind of shape that this storm kind of took on, like almost like a supercell kind of shape to it. Um, and we also had Mimatis as well. I have a whole video of it uh, with this thing. But, yeah, very, very beautiful 
uh, cloud. Uh, and this definitely looked like it could have been a severe thunderstorm. And now I'm curious. I'm going to go look at PSCG Long Island and see if there were any power outages in that area where that storm hit. 89 customers. No, not too many. Uh, because I'm just wondering what that storm did. Because that storm looked pretty nasty. And I'm kind of surprised they didn't issue a warning for it. There was no lightning with it. But it looked pretty high up there. It looked like it could have at least been hail with it. So we'll have to see if we got some reports of hail. Uh, we can... Uh, no, nothing here. Uh, the special weather statement. That was... They didn't... They didn't issue any wet special weather statement for that cell, which kind of surprises me. It kind of surprises me. Um, so let's go take a look at what we got going on across the country. And you can see lots of severe weather going on in Florida and the south. We got uh, severe thunderstorm watches for the south, heat advisories for Texas, heat advisories for southern Miami, tornado watches for, yes, tornado watches for uh, parts of Florida, Northern Florida, severe thunderstorm watch south of that, and uh, the northern part of the Panhandle. Looks like we got one tornado warning, perhaps, around Jacksonville. Uh, and then all these air quality alerts for the wildfire smoke now in Minnesota and Wisconsin. And that could be heading our way. Uh, so let's uh, look at what we got going on outside. And it's cooled off quite a bit, too, out there. In fact, the alley is 63. I couldn't believe it. I looked at the thermometer. 63 in the alley. So the alley's actually cooled off, I guess because of all that rain, it finally cooled it off, or whatever. Uh, but you can see it's 63, uh, dew point still 59, so it's still kind of humid out there. Uh, however, the air quality has markedly improved. Um, and again, if we uh, look at some of these pictures here, you'll see uh, we have that really nice blue sky. Uh, we have a couple. I took a bunch of these pictures here. Uh, there's some more pictures of that storm, but we had some really beautiful blue sky above that storm there that you could see so it really helped clean the air out um so let's go back to the, what it was like at islip today and you can see generally didn't get that warm uh with the cloud cover did have like a, a high level cloud cover south winds pretty strong south winds but the humidity is pretty high pretty unstable atmosphere looks like they did report thunder around three o'clock there um so let's go take a look at the rainfall and the high temperatures across the map you can see the city is much warmer I guess it may be whatever. But the way the rain hit, it definitely cooled things off. 61. Uh, let's see how New Jersey's doing around 60 as well. Yeah, 63 in the alley. I couldn't believe it. I'll, uh, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I'll show you that. Th I'll post a picture of the th of the of the thermometer. I forgot. I don't have it here. But um, it was a very humid. 63 though. Uh, so let's first do the high temperatures first, and you can see today probably not getting all that warm. Um, if we can pull those high temperatures up, that would be nice. Uh, the site is acting up again. You know, I hate this. I, I really do. Uh, so here we go. Uh, so mid-70s, uh, generally below 70s out east. A little warmer toward Jersey. It all seems it wants to display around 80 in the city. And the lows probably didn't even get that much. You know, I'm not even going to bother with that. Let's look at the rainfall amounts. This thing's acting slow again. Um... Let's do the precipitation for the past 24 hours here. And we'll take a look and see what our rainfall amounts are. And you can see a lot of areas it downpoured, but it didn't last very long. But still a quarter of an inch in most areas, maybe a little more than that. Uh, out in MacArthur Airport, a quarter of an inch, a little less. Uh, I really is hoping the Pine Barrens get a little more than just 0.08 or 0.15, but I'm afraid that's all they got. Uh, it's something, but it just the uh, storms kind of weakened as they um, went that way. Uh, let's go to the north here. Hudson Valley getting a little higher amounts, closer to half an inch. Uh, northern Jersey around a quarter of an inch, and it looks like uh, just north of Tom's River, and uh, Tom's River itself didn't get that much, but if you're in Lakehurst, 0.60, uh, 0.71, so just north of that brick township, that whole area, there was a good, a good cell that went over that area. Kind of just missed, unfortunately, um, the Pine Barrens areas. It was just to the north of them. Uh, like I said, the rain was scattered, but there definitely was some rain out there. Let's go to Wonder Map now. Get away from this site. I'll look at some more rainfall totals here. And I'll uh, get some more numbers for you here. So generally around a half. Some areas got a half an inch, though. North Shore, Nassau. Here we go. More North Shore amounts. Uh, closing on on three quarters of an inch in some of these areas here on the North Shore, uh, depending on where they got hit. So the North Shore uh, getting a decent sell 
uh, from that. Uh, you can see there's that, and again, right around this area, West Babylon, it poured 0.67. I'm not surprised because that was a pretty good downpour that they got. And let's see, did it make it up to Edgewood? 0.73 it didn't quite make it to Edgewood, but they got something out of it, half an inch. It's something, we'll take it. Not a drought buster, but we'll take it uh, for sure. And then less, as unfortunately, as you go out east, uh, barely anything in a lot of these areas. Point, uh, but some areas got a little more, 0.42 there in uh, Eastport, but just north of the Pine Barrens, barely anything. So it's a very patchy, uh, you know, especially as they get out east, they get kind of weak. Um, and then looking at New Jersey, again, tracing out that storm, uh, that gave a, a higher amounts to um, Lakehurst, Lakewood, uh, yeah, 0 0.77, 0 0.22 in Manchester Township and Whiting, 0 0.23, 0 0.5, 0 0.45 in Holiday City. Okay, you can see the numbers just vary a lot because of the convective nature of this, uh, of this rainfall that we had. Um, you know, very, very scattered, you know, very scattered. Uh, so looking at the radar here, uh, the uh, other radar here that we have here, you can see, again, there's looks like there's some pretty nasty storms off Cape Cod. Um, and then we got some scattered activity up there. Looks like maybe some scattered activity up in Quebec, but it's just scattered. It's not really. And then this is what's going on in the south. Oh, boy, yeah, Jacksonville, they're getting slammed right now. This looks like a lot of some pretty impressive thunderstorms. Look at that. Around Arkansas, then Mississippi, uh, going into Mississippi, Greenville, Monticello. Uh, so those are like some pretty nasty storms. They're probably putting down a lot of lightning, I bet. Let's go ahead and look at the lightning monitor here, and we'll take a look and see what we have going on here. See, there's that cell by the Cape. Uh, but most of the really severe stuff is down here. Yeah. This is where we got a decent amount of lightning strikes. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, there's another good one around north of Pensacola there. Oh, yeah, they're getting hammered. Look at that. Wow, it's firing up like crazy. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy right there. Okay, so let's go look at the MODIS satellite, which I thought I brought up here. Here it is. Okay. So let's go to the MODIS satellite, and you can see here's our swirl. <laughs> uh, and this is the smoke. Uh, there it is. So this is what we, we we're, we're probably gonna have to deal with this, and uh, maybe sooner than later. Uh, at this point, we can just get some these place labels up here, uh, so you can see here. There's the smoke. You can see it's pretty thick in Minnesota. Still got fires going on in Saskatchewan. Can't see Alberta because of cloud cover, but there's probably still fires going on. Same thing for Quebec. We can't see the surface, but I have a feeling there's still fires burning there as well. Uh, and the smoke is all gonna be heading our way unfortunately so if we go look at the great lakes let's go to the north america we'll go to the great lakes view here we could do upper mississippi valley actually it might be better uh yeah this shows the smoke nicely yeah it's a pretty thick smoke right there it's over minnesota so yeah i have a feeling we're going to be getting into this and i'm not looking forward to it again because it was nice to have some clean air today uh that's for sure so let's go to the models next and uh, I'll just review what's going to be happening throughout through the weekend. So there's that low pulling out. Fair weather tomorrow. And then another low, another cold pool low comes in on Friday. We could have more showers and thunderstorms with that. And it looks like it's digging it further south now than it was originally, uh, which means more rain, perhaps. And it could linger into Saturday. We may be dealing with rain chances into Saturday uh, thanks to this low that's, and that's slowly going to move away on Sunday. Um uh, so that's what we got going on right now. Let's go to the HRRR, and uh, let's see what the H... No, good thing is we got the full HRRR. So I got to do these weather updates a little later now because of that. So low pulls away tomorrow, northwest flow, west flow, uh, and then here comes the next low for Friday, and that's going to spawn a whole more group of showers and thunderstorms looking quite similar to today. Um, and that, uh, that we'll see, again, those on and off showers and thunderstorms scattered about. Uh, there's that low right there uh, that we're going to have to deal with uh, and more rain, which, uh, you know, we could always use. Uh, all the timing kind of sucks, hey, you know. Dry rare builds in, dew points drop tomorrow. Dew points won't be that low, but they'll be low enough to, you know, feel more comfortable than today. Maybe and Then maybe a sea breeze in the afternoon, perhaps, and then the southerly wind comes in back on fr Friday, and we're going to have the humidity again, southeast winds, uh, and an unstable atmosphere. 
Uh, we'll have more parameters for that tomorrow uh, when I have more short range models to look at. Uh, but I think we will be dealing with more uh, rain chances for that day. And again, if we go to the total accumulated precip here, obviously the models kind of underdid it, but this is what it looks like Saturday. Uh, Friday could be uh, very active, so keep that in mind. Um, uh, could see a lot of storminess and uh, plenty of rainfall, so more rain again. Uh, you know, it's, it's getting now we're getting the rain, although it's the timing is not great, but you know we'll take the rain. You know, uh, so tonight we'll drop down to our mid 50s. Tomorrow, mid to upper 70s, close to normal. And I'll have to go over the statistics uh, at the weather the climate uh, at the end of this weather update. Here we are Friday morning. Not as cool, low 60s. And then Friday, it's going to be quite humid. The temperature's only going to be in the 70s because that cloud cover. And you can see where the temperatures drop due to the rain from all those storms. So unfortunately, yeah, if you have any plans for Friday outside, uh, particularly like the car show in Belmore, unfortunately, it's going to be rained out probably. Timing is not great. And again, it's going to linger around. That instability is going to linger around as we get into Saturday. So if we look at Saturday here, look at the dew points and wind flow here. Um, you'll see here as we go into Saturday, we'll still have that low around, and we'll still have, if we look at this here, you'll see we still have that instability around cloud cover and showers possible. Um, and then we don't really get out of it until Sunday, uh, but still a weak wind flow uh, behind this system here. Uh, what effect will the smoke have on all this? Well, that's just hard to tell right now. Friday, this looks interesting on the GFS. GFS is even hotter for Friday. Friday could be pretty active, I have a feeling. It could be pretty active. So speaking of active, let's look at the Storm Prediction Center. You can see they've got that enhanced risk now over uh, the Florida Panhandle uh, and Marginal. Uh, they've got a, a slight, a, 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 let's see, they've got, yeah, they got the enhanced risk, and then they got the slight risk. And so all well, this is where the activity is right now. Let's move this along until... Let's just move this along into the next day. So, actually, we'll just go to Convective Outlook. And I'll just put this on the screen, and we'll just make this... This is the day two. Nothing for our area. Day three, nothing. Not showing anything. It's showing in the south. But, uh, again, I wouldn't be so sure to dismiss that. So, let's go look at the smoke situation, and then we'll go back to look at the skies. Uh, the RAP model, here we go. Uh, so here's uh, the RIP for tomorrow, and we're starting off clear, but it looks like the smoke does come in by the afternoon, and it gets thick overnight, and then that low will probably thin it out a little bit, but this, we may be dealing with some smoke on Friday mixed in with all that thunderstorm activity. What effect that's going to have, it's hard to tell. It could make the thunderstorms more, have more lightning in them, perhaps. So we're going to have to watch that. It looks like it's definitely bringing that smoke into our area, which is no surprise because that low is going to pull it down. Um, let's go to the, the near surface smoke. And you can see there's near surface smoke in Minnesota and Wisconsin. And I'm wondering if we're going to get into that too. So it won't be as bad as that other day, but uh, I see some of it coming in here, coming in later to later uh, on Friday. So tomorrow, no, but Friday we may be dealing with it. So. We're going to have to see what happens here with this. Of course, we'll have those thunderstorms around. So this is going to be an interesting dynamic as to how this all gets wrapped up in the in this system. And again, it's hard to tell. This When dealing with smoke, it's really hard to tell uh, as far out. So let's go look at the, at the skies as far as cloud cover goes. Uh, we'll look at the GFS first. Um, so here is the GFS. And you can see GFS uh showing more clouds uh over long island and northern new jersey new york city southern new jersey less clouds for tomorrow friday uh starting off with sun and then those clouds will build in so we might have sun and they may actually heat things up and the smoke and this moving in so it could be a pretty active day and then clouds stick around on saturday though uh there'll be some breaks of sun and maybe a sprinkle or two i don't think saturday is going to be as wet or as unsettled as friday and then sunday i think Maybe we'll get rid of the showers, but we'll still have some clouds around. We still have an isolated sprinkle or not. Um, let's go to the RGM model, lastly. So here's the RGM model for tomorrow. And you can see starting off clear, and then you have those pop-up clouds that come in. It's RGMs bringing them more over, more over Jersey, actually, a little less over Long Island. This is the afternoon. So 
we'll have to see what happens uh, where they pop up. It's hard to say. It's hard to say there will be some clouds popping up in the afternoon. But I think if you want you want to see some blue sky tomorrow's the day, perhaps before the smoke rolls in later on, and then Friday we'll start off with sun and maybe some sm- thick smoke, and then these clouds roll in with these storms, and then uh, as we get to Saturday you'll see you'll be sitting in in the clouds here for the most part. Uh, so let's go lastly to the climate. Uh, report for today before I wrap this weather update up. Ice slip. Let's see what we got here. 73, so yeah, below normal. Even though it was humid, below normal uh, because of the uh, cloud cover. Only four, de- only 4 degrees below normal for the high. 3 degrees, degrees below normal for the day. Uh, Central Park, 2 degrees below normal for the day. Um, let's go look at one other thing, and I'm going to go and see if they've got any storm reports, and they probably don't. But let's see if they do. They have any special weather statement. Well, any storm reports here is what we would need. Uh, let's see. We do have a storm report. This one is thunderstorm wind damage from Union. So it looks like there was some wind damage. Glen Cove, wind gust of 39 miles an hour, and that was with that storm at 132. Okay, so that was earlier on in the day. I don't know. That evening storm looked pretty monstrous. But that's all I have for you tonight. So have a good night and enjoy tomorrow uh, because uh, Friday could be another wild day and maybe even more wild than today with, uh, I think, uh, if the GFS is right, it's going to get more heating, more humidity, and then we have the smoke, which could uh, make things pretty interesting. So we'll have a better idea for you tomorrow night. Have a good night.